The Amex Platinum card is touted as the king of travel credit cards, but for less than a quarter of its annual fee, the Amex green card is a better choice. I'm Bradford with the Penny Pinterest Guide to Personal Finance. Now, before I get into why the green card beats out the platinum card, let's break down the benefits of the green card and what you get for its $150 annual fee. Like all Amex cards that earn points, you're gonna earn them in the form of membership rewards points, which are known for their great value you get when you take advantage of American Express transfer partners. Now, when it comes to the green card specifically, their bonus category multipliers, you're gonna be getting three times points back on restaurants. And this is going to cover restaurants worldwide. So anywhere you go and you dine in, you're going to be getting three times points back, which at a very conservative valuation is at least 3% cash back equivalent in your pocket. Now, the only caveat to this category is that you're not going to earn those three times points back on food delivery services outside of the United States. But for eating in with Uber Eats on a Friday night at home, you will. The next category is gonna be three times points back on transit. And it's gonna include things like trains, buses, ferries, subways, taxis, ride shares, tolls, and parking. So basically anything that you're doing once you get to your destination, you're gonna be earning three times points back in your pocket. And then the final category, since it is a travel card, you're gonna earn three times points back on travel. Now you're gonna be earning three times points back on airfares, hotels, cruises, tours, cars, rentals, purchases on third-party travel websites, i.e. Priceline or Expedia, as well as three times points back on the Amex travel portal itself. Now for all other spend categories, you're going to be earning one time point back per dollar spent. Now let's take a look at the statement credits that you can get to help offset that annual fee. You're able to earn a total of $200 per calendar year, split into two $100 credits. The first credit is going to be a $100 clear credit, which you can use to get through security faster. Now this $100 annual credit is going to cover just over half of the $189 annual fee that it takes to be part of the clear membership. Now for the other $100 credit, this is going to go towards Lounge Buddy, and you can use it to book access to the various lounges as part of the lounge buddy network and looking at their website the average valuation per cost to actually get in look to be right around forty dollars which means this hundred dollar credit is going to get you approximately two and a half visits per calendar year now even if you discount these statement credits so they don't get their full two hundred dollar value i think if you travel even if it's just a couple times a year that you're going to be able to recoup your full 150 dollar annual fee but even if you get the full value of the 200 dollars in statement credits that the green card comes with this really pales in comparison to the over $1,500 in credits that you can give with the Amex Platinum card. So why do I think that the green card is a better travel card? This is gonna come down to the bonus category multipliers that you get. Now the Platinum card gives you an excellent multiplier a five times points on airfare and then prepaid hotels through the Amex travel portal. But that's it. For all other sorts of travel, you're only gonna get that single membership reward point per dollar spent. So this means that if you go on a trip, wherever you go to vacation, you're gonna earn that five times points back on the airfare, whether you book directly through the carrier's website or through the Amex travel portal, and then maybe get five times points back on the hotel if you book through the Amex travel portal, which isn't always gonna be the best price, but that's it. Anything else you do on your trip, if you decide to swipe your platinum card, you're only gonna earn that one point back. Now, if you look at the green card on the other hand, it's basically gonna cover every single element of your trip. Now, based on the multiplier categories that I talked about earlier, let's say you're taking a trip out of country, that you're gonna earn those three times points back when you go and park your car at the airport, you're gonna earn those three times points back on your airfare to get wherever you're going. You're gonna earn the three times points back whether you take a taxi to your hotel or whether you pick up a rental car. You're gonna earn those three times points back almost regardless of where you're staying, whether it's a regular hotel chain or maybe you're doing an Airbnb. You're gonna earn those three times points back again if you take a bus to go do sightseeing. If you take a subway to be able to travel and explore the city. You're gonna earn those three times points back if you book some sort of experience with a travel company to go do something. Let's say you wanna go do sightseeing on a train or use a train to be able to travel from country to country. Again, you're gonna be earning that bonus multiplier back in your pocket. And even when you dine out with every single time that you swipe your card for your meal, again, you're earning that extra multiplier. Basically, with the exception of purchasing some souvenirs to bring home with you, you're gonna be earning an extra multiplier. Every single part of your trip, that's gonna be extra multipliers, which is gonna be giving you, again, the minimum valuation when you compare it to cash back of 3% cash back in your pocket. And then once you use the Amex travel partners and things like that, you're gonna get an even higher cash back equivalent. So when it comes to which card is gonna get you more points back on your next vacation, there's no question. The green card is gonna beat out the platinum card every single step of the way, unless you're only just flying somewhere. And then when you consider that it only has a $150 annual fee compared to the $695 annual fee of the platinum card, there's really no competition. But in the platinum card's defense, it is an amazing card and it's gonna give you thousands of dollars worth of benefits that are gonna easily offset that annual fee. And there is a reason that I've had the platinum card for over five years at this point. Thanks for watching and remember, from your first penny to your first million, we're here to help.